What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Thief Simulator. This is episode 17 now on the series. In the last episode we managed to steal the server room key card which is supposedly going to help us break into the server room located at the top floor of 303. So I'm thinking we just nut up and uh, waltz right through the front gate if they'll let us. I don't actually remember much about this place. I remember having to hack something. Oh, perfect. We have a parking spot right here. So the first thing we have to do here is uh, sort of step over behind this wall where no one's going to be able to see us. We'll pull out our hacking laptop and we'll try to hack our way into this sucker. Okay, that took forever, but finally managed to unlock that thing. So that's going to open up the front gate over here. The way that we broke in the last time was actually just sprinting on through and uh, we managed to just sneak in just like that. It really is stupidly easy. Then we climb the gutter back here, hop up on top of, oh, what is this? A black wallet. Sure thing. Can't believe I missed that the last time. And then we just open this door and boom, we're in. So this is a server right there. We do need those. And I need a lot of this stuff, actually. Maybe we should hit this place a little bit harder. I don't know though, I'm really just trying to advance the storyline because we could come through and hit a lot of this stuff way harder than we did originally. How about this? If I see something that has a green star next to it and it's not like 10 pounds, not something that we have to like carry out of here, I'll of course grab it. Oh, PC display, PC keyboard, PC mouse, sure. Alright, backpack filled up pretty dang quick, so I think that's actually max capacity or just about brown wallet and a black wallet? You guys. All right, PC displays, they're the heaviest thing. We're getting rid of them. All four of them onto the ground, or I guess they'll just sort of explode and go everywhere. We have a safe back here that could use cracking. Let's try it. I mean, the security guards aren't even gonna come in here anyways. So we really have all the time in the world. Wow, those are close, uh-oh. Okay, somehow they figured out we're here. There's only a hard drive in here? Oh, hang on a second. Binder with login credentials. Can I just hide behind this wall, you think? I have no idea where the security guards are right now, but I'm just gonna chill behind this wall, and uh, hopefully that works. We don't exactly have the best hiding spot here. If we went upstairs, I think there might be a wardrobe up there that we could hide in, but there is nothing on this floor. Okay, cops are leaving. Why do they always, somehow they always manage to hit the Civic. Here we go. Server room, use the key, opens right up. Oh, buddy. Dude, there's so much stuff in here. Holy crap. Okay, so what are we supposed to do though, really? 3D Printer Pro, $6,000. That's just impressive. Okay, let's, let's close this. I need to figure out what I'm supposed to do in here. So we have the server right here. I'm assuming we hack that laptop over here and that about does it i gotta figure out a way we can get that 3d printer dude that's nuts and it should be a straight shot right there nicely done all right and just like that we have put pen drive in the evidence box and take the box what did we get a pen drive from that i'm confused yeah i guess we did usb flash drive okay it would have been nice to have like a pop-up being like, oh, you just got a USB flash drive or something. Anyways, let's snag this printer and we'll see if we can make our way out of here with it. And I'm going to have to run out of here with this thing. I'm going to have to yeet it off of the balcony. Okay, that's not going to work. There we go. Okay, down the balcony. And of course, he's probably going to see that printer and it's going to tip him off. Okay, no, he didn't. All right, we're heading down. We're grabbing the printer. And we're running this way, as fast as we can anyways. This is a pretty heavy 3D printer. And we have to keep an eye out on that security guard as well because he is in front of some windows. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta wait for the guy inside to turn around though. Oh no, oh no, there's a camera right there. Are you kidding me? How did I not see that before? Okay, you guys, we got the 3D printer. I cleaned house as much as I could. Now we have to try to... S no, 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 no. <laughs> that was way too close. God dang it. And he's going to walk past us. He's going to see us. 
and we're gonna get tased okay we got to go on the other side of this hedge as quickly as we possibly why it takes so long to get inside this place and loot it that was my second time now i have to do it again okay i officially have everything back in my inventory now this is the scary part because these guys are going to change positions that guy's going to go in the office this guy's going to go over here now once this guy comes on this back side of this hedge i have to go to the opposite side very very quickly like i have to just straight uncrouch and book it around here so i think he's about to make his way over here i'm gonna try to stay as far in this corner as i possibly can so he doesn't see us again this time here he comes around the corner doesn't see us i'm gonna uncrouch walk seriously is this even possible do i have to be faster than that i i did that like insanely quick that time okay Grab the 3D printer. I'm not even going to wait behind this hedge this time. Well, I am for just a second because I think their positions are about to change. And I'm going to start heading out. Okay, he might see us. We just have to wait for this guy to go back over there. No. No, 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 no. I'm dipping. I'm dipping. I'm going. I'm going. I'm out of here. So an idea just popped into my head. What if I go back an hour and maybe that'll give me just enough time before they get into their position change that I can just sneak right out the front gate again. I'm going to try that. I think this 3D printer is actually really weighing me down though. Okay guys, so I have successfully made it out now to the same point we were at before basically except for I have the 3D printer next to me dude bro is walking down the strip right now and the gate has closed on us because the cops if you guys don't remember were called so i'm going to actually hide in this for just a second we're gonna bring out the hacking laptop and i might be able to reach it from in here okay maybe not i definitely thought that was gonna work we have a little bit of safety a little bit of a shield in between these guys so i'm going to run on over to these other containers over here and i'm gonna see if there's anything inside of them nope i'm gonna try to yeet the 3d printer over the gate i think that's gonna be my best option here you don't see me you don't see me you don't see me nice okay let's yeet this thing over the gate if we can so i don't think i'm gonna be able to yeet it over the gate i'll just leave it at the front of the gate how about that and back over here i just need the guy in front of the window to go somewhere else do anything but stand right there okay perfect we're going we're going behind this wall perfect i can stay here for just a second to unlock the front gate here and it looks like this one's fairly easy pretty much a straight shot thank god all right we'll put the hacking laptop away we're just gonna have to chill we're just gonna have to breathe I think the other thing that's really messing me up in this episode, especially, is the fact that I have to pee so incredibly bad. Okay, okay, are we good? Are we good now? Can we please be done with this mission? This wasn't even part of the mission. I don't know why I wanted this 3D printer so badly. It's only 6,000 bucks. I say only, that's quite a bit of money. But my god, I don't ever, ever want to try to do that again. That was horrible. Ooh, it's probably faster if we go out that way. I'll just go through the woods. We'll do a little off-roading. So we have put the pen drive, or the flash drive, in the evidence box and take the box. Okay, we did that. Check the pin board. Let's come over here. So we have steel explosives from 302. We're going to be stealing explosives now? That's sick, dude. I'm pumped about that. Okay. Bear with me for just a moment, you guys. I got a tinkle. One minute, 37 seconds later. And we're back, feeling more refreshed than ever. Wait, I just went to the bathroom. That doesn't, nope. I do not drink pee, you guys. That's not a thing that I do. <laughs> um, so now I have to figure out what we were doing. Steal the explosives from 302. We have a lot of stuff, not only in the Civic, though, but in our inventory. What did we put in the Civic? That was the 3D printer. I mean, let's just see what's for sale on Black Bay or what's requested on Black Bay first. 
before we go see Vlad. We have a single PC keyboard. I think we got quite a few of those for 1600 bucks. We'll go ahead and sell that. PC displays, I didn't take any of those. We have three PC mice for 4200 bucks. Sold. Two laptop mice for 2400. We have all three of the black projectors now. That is $9,600. We have both black wallets, $4,800. We got both brown wallets, another $4,800. We did find one women's wallet in that last place, which is nice. How's it going, Vlad? Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Let's go to 3D Printer Pro, $6,000. That's a expensive boy right there. We'll sell that. And then we have PC keyboard. Ooh, some of the stuff we can't sell. I probably should have put that away. PC keyboard, I know we can sell. PC mouse, I think we can sell that and the keyboard. All the rest of this stuff we're gonna have to hang on to. Sorry, Vlad, until we have the rest of it for Black Bay. So let's go chuck all this into the storage locker. Okay, we are ready to go do some business. We have our flash drive, we have the explosive box. I don't know what this image is right here. Is that the key card? Yeah, I guess it kind of looks like a key card. Then we have the flash drive, okay. So we are making some progress on our little pin board. Now we just have to go steal the explosives. Since it is 7 p.m., I'm gonna go sleep until 7 a.m. God dang it, why? Every time. 302 is the motorcycle shop, right? Yeah, right up here in the corner. Okay, so we're gonna have to leave the Civic over here again. We'll just skirt into this parking space. And let's go see our good friends at 302. This one wasn't necessarily hard to get into, but it was, for whatever reason, hard to get out of just because of those cameras. So let's break into this front gate here. We just have to wait for the dude bro at the front of the house, guarding the car gate right now, to turn around. I think this is actually the same time that we snuck in previously too which is kind of funny it looks like yeah we're in the exact same time frame that we were here before so that's actually good news because i know where everyone's gonna be we're gonna have to hide behind this wall here for just a quick second i don't remember him coming all the way back here i guess i guess that was a thing all right he's got his back turned to us uh-oh he's gonna come out though right now Okay, that could have gone better. I just have to wait for him to move or him to go back inside. Okay, he's going back inside. That's perfect. Uh-oh. No, it's not. No, it's not. And we're stuck on the stairs. Are you kidding me? Wait, what? No way. Oh my god. I was gonna say, there's no way we just stealth past him like that. That was crazy, you guys. I've never seen that happen before. Aside from when we were stuck in that storage container at the warehouse. Okay, I'm just gonna make my way back inside up the stairs because we have to get to somewhere. I don't even know, where are the explosives anyways? They're over here. Okay, so we have to get up onto this scaffolding over here. Let me get out my binoculars just so I can show you guys where we're headed. We're gonna get up here where that little roof is we're gonna run, God, this is kind of a bad view, isn't it? I'll do it from here. We're gonna get up on this roof, we're gonna run and jump over this fence here, and that should spit us out over on this side where the explosives are in the workshop garage. So I will see you guys as soon as I make my way up onto the roof. All right, we have successfully made our way back up onto the roof. This guy's currently out of the office on the left of us. That guy just went back into this fenced off area, so I'm gonna try to run and jump over the fence. There we go, nicely done. Over into this new area. This is some new territory for us. Try to make, sir, make sure we don't get seen. Now, I took the liberty of marking all of the cameras beforehand. Ooh, buddy, we need both, or I guess all three of these, really. So while I was waiting upstairs, up on that little balcony, I marked all the cameras over here. So we should be good to get in here, steal what we need and get out. So we have the explosives right over here. Sure, one little bag of explosives. Is that really all we need? We got a laser machine over there. What's back here? Nothing back there. Let's check over here really quick. There we go, black projector, another scanner, another laser marker. Oh, laser marker, I'm sorry. I thought it was a laser maker. Check in this garage really quick. 
A female body sculpture. Yep. Taking that. That's going in the house. Now, the bad news is that we have to carry this. And this guy on the left, right over here, is definitely still guarding the front gate, which is not... Oh my god, and I'm stuck on the stairs. <laughs> yeah, if you're crouched or if you're carrying something, these stairs just don't cooperate. I can't get up them, even if I jump. So we're leaving that. I'm not even going to mess with trying to steal that thing. We're just heading right over top here. Right behind that security guard, and we're dipping. We're dipping super hard. So we got the explosives. Oh, it says put the bomb in the hideout's workbench. Are we blowing up our own house? Are we about to fake our own death? What's going on here? All right, how do we do on that one? I don't think too bad, right? Nah, dude, we got an A. Easy money. Easy, easy money. We got a couple of good things, too. I didn't go through it very thoroughly, but we do have a couple of good things. So this is the hideout. It wants us to put the bomb on our workbench. Why? I don't know. Check the pin board, okay. Oh, a detonator device. Steal the detonator from 301. That is our next task. I think we have enough time for that. 301, hang on, is that a new place? No, that's the warehouse. I absolutely hate the warehouse. So, I think I'm gonna save that for the next episode. I don't know how long this one's gonna be just because I did mess up so incredibly often. But we got some explosives. I mean, that's kind of cool. We have some new stuff on the pin board now. So I think I'm gonna wind things down here. Now, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.